Mastering the Art of Addressing Resume Gaps Hello learners! Today, we're diving deep into the world of job interviews, focusing on how to confidently and effectively address gaps in your resume. As we all know, life can take us on unexpected journeys, and sometimes that can mean gaps in our employment history. But, with the right preparation and approach, these gaps don't have to be a hindrance. One of the best strategies? Gathering supporting evidence. Let's jump in. Before we delve into how to address these gaps, it's essential to understand what we mean by resume gaps. These are periods where you weren't employed or were taking a break from your professional journey. These might occur due to various reasons such as health issues, family responsibilities, further education, or even traveling. It's okay to have these breaks. What's crucial is how you present them to potential employers. When addressing gaps in your resume, merely stating the reason might not always be enough. Employers value proof and evidence. For instance, if you took a year off to study, having a certification or degree to show can be beneficial. Or if you were traveling, maybe you have a travel blog or photographs that showcase your experiences. This evidence helps to validate your reason and shows that you were productively using your time. There are several types of supporting evidence you can gather. 1. Educational Certificates If your gap was due to further studies, always have your certificates or degrees handy. 2. Recommendation Letters Maybe you volunteered or did some freelancing during the gap. A recommendation from those experiences can be a strong asset. 3. Portfolios For those in creative fields, maybe you took the time off to work on personal projects. Showcase them. 4. Medical records. If health was the reason, while you shouldn't divulge too much personal information, being open about a health issue and showing you're now fit can clear doubts. 5. Personal blogs or websites. If you took time off for a personal venture, sharing this can be beneficial. Now that you have your evidence, how should you present it? 1. Be honest and direct. If asked, be straightforward. Briefly explain the reason for the gap and then introduce your supporting evidence. 2. Stay positive. Remember to frame your experiences during the gap positively. Even if the gap was due to a negative experience, try to focus on what you learned or how you've grown from it. 3. Practice. Before the interview, practice how you'll present this information. The more prepared you are, the more confident you'll sound. Addressing resume gaps can seem daunting, but with the right supporting evidence, you can turn potential weaknesses into strengths. Remember, everyone has their unique journey, and gaps can often bring about personal and professional growth. We hope this video has given you the tools and confidence to face your next interview head-on. Good luck, and happy learning!